Hello guys, um, I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm in Semenyak and uh, I'm going to do a little video for all those Aussie brothers and sisters looking for beer. Um, best place to get beer is Bintang and I'm actually, Bintang is like a big supermarket here. Um, if you come in a cooter and you're basically getting ready for a party, it's well worth doing the uh, five, six kilometre ride into Semenyak to go to the Bintang here. Um, it's an absolutely enormous supermarket, got great prices and I'm going to take you straight to the beer and show you which is the best beer to buy and I'm also going to take you around and you can get cosmetic stuff here, food, fresh groceries, absolutely everything. Um, so you sit back, have a beer and watch this. There we go, so there's uh, Bintang Supermarket. I will put down on the map just where just where it is let's shake hands with this gentleman thank you very much for your help there yeah, yeah, yeah. have a great day thank you sir how are you doing and I, I asked his permission so look at this absolutely enormous place Hello. we'll just start with I know where the beer is Let's take you straight to the beer and then I'll do the rest of the shop. Okay, so you want beer. Don't bother about the beer at the front. Go straight to the back right. So what we're looking for is if you're, you're having a party and uh, you need boxes of big beers. And they are just here. I mean, they're warm, of course, so make sure you come early enough to get it all chilled. These are the ones you want. These are the big beers. Right, there you go. They'll do the job. But they come to about two pound, two pound or four, four Aussie dollars each. Um, I will put down the prices just to the left right now. Uh, you can also get the smaller bottles. Uh, you get 24 in a box here for 457,000. Uh, there your usual Budweiser size this and that's basically where you want to come guys I wouldn't bother with the uh, with the cans if you are going to get cans you can get some chilled ones over here highly recommend these nuts as well these nuts are brilliant absolutely enormous Um, I've never actually tried this draft beer lager. Let's go and have a look at the quick wine, the wines quickly. Hello, is it okay if I film in here? Yes. Thank you. How are you today? I'm very good. Uh, 95, oh, 95,000. That's like a five, five pound. That's like 20 US dollars. Uh, sorry, Aussie dollars. <laughs> Pinot Grigio. That is about yeah, about 20, 25 Australian dollars. Got a whopper of a scar. That's 10 quid for that cigar. Wow. Can you come through? Okay, I'll come through. That's alright. I will actually, uh, Stamp the uh, timestamp this video. Oh, look at that, that's quite cool. <laughs> I will timestamp this video so with each department, I think this being wines. Thanks so much for your help. Thank you. Mm. Cinnamon whiskey. That's about 50 pounds. 
similar price to what it is in England, really. A uh, bottle of Bacardi, always safe with a bottle of Bacardi. Good size, 316. So that is about 18 pounds English, so 28 Australian bucks. And a little cheaper for the uh, Captain Morgan's, it's a great rum. Okay, so that's your alcohol sorted. Don't forget your Pringles. Um, that's just over a pound, about two pound, um, two and a half Australian dollars for those Pringles. Right, let's get looking. This stuff is awesome to have uh, on porridge of a morning. Put some. Where's the porridge? Yeah, this kind of, that porridge, sorry, some of that muesli on the top, and then fresh fruit on that with some milk. Absolutely perfect breakfast. Um, I wouldn't recommend the bread here. Um, I've bought half of the bread here, and it's, it's all just, it looks wholesome, but then, actually, that was quite a thick one. Yeah, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Oh dear, it's like just air. How you doing? Um, this is quite a nice one, to be fair. Salami's look good. How much is that? Did she say she's like, I'm going to sorry. Who doesn't? I know, right? <laughs> right. There's some good fresh veg. Well, it looks delicious, but these are premium prices. And of course, eggs. Not going to go through the egg prices. And milk, a good long life milk is, where have you gone? Is this one. Yeah, very good. But make sure that you don't by accident buy this one. You see? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> see the difference? That's the difference. One's chocolate milk. Well, I've done that a couple of times. But yeah, that's a good, good milk. It lasts for absolutely ages. Uh, stick it in the fridge and you're all good. Don't forget your papaya on top of your, oh, and your watermelons. Oh, damn. Sorry. fresh milk as well and yogurts and the cheese is quite expensive but you know there are times when you just gotta have cheese actually that's not a bad price about seven Australian dollars and my favorite the almond croissants hello how are you Sorry? Hi. Um, no thanks. Okay. No, I'm meant to be intermittent fasting. That will uh, rise my uh, sugar levels. In which case I might as well eat. Yeah, so I've basically given up on dieting and I've gone for intermittent fasting. Um, so I'm not looking at calories anymore. I'm now just looking at sugar spikes. And my favorite fruit is dragon fruit. Absolutely delicious. Um, okay, yeah, like I say, don't bother getting your beers from here. Um, let's get through. Sorry. 
Um, we want to go that way. And lentils. There you go. Olive oil. That is quite steep. Um, 230. That's about 15 pounds. About 30 Australian dollars. Um, dried fruits are good. Good price. A couple of quid for four or five bucks. Aussie dollars that is. And honey. Yeah. They do some amazing honeys here. Uh, this is an awesome one. Just under twenty dollars. Um, bloody delicious. I'll last you for ages as well. Surprised they've got that on the bottom shelf. To be fair. And then nibbles. Yeah, they love their wafers. And they do some amazing crisps in Bali as well. Well, in all of Asia now, I think about it. Look at those. That is crazy. I've never tried them, but that does actually sound, sound like fun. Look at these truffles. They have some interesting crisps here that I've not seen before. <clears throat> I might actually try some of those stuffed peppers. We've not got to coffees yet. And back to the Pringles. About two and a half Aussie dollars. Popcorns, more crisps. Okay, I'm not going in any order here. Got spices. This one is good. If you like spicy, spicy chicken. I highly recommend having some of that in your pocket. That's great. Well worth it for about, not even a dollar. Um, the chilli sauce is all very much samey-same, to be honest. Um, there's no great difference. That one looks quite tasty. And it's on offer, so I would go for that one. Yeah, like I say, there's nothing spectacular amongst the uh, chilli sauces. And rice, pastas, good selection of pastas. And spaghetti. And cake mix and pot noodles. You've got it all here, really. And this is sweeteners for your drinks. So the next aisle is probably coffee. Actually, I'm down there. Far cry from coffee. I think it was actually the same aisle down the other end. Cleaning products. Where's the coffee gone? No, I'm looking for the coffee. Thank you. Yes, please. Thanks very much. There we go. So I'm Premio, and this one strong coffee. Yeah, lovely. And this one thick, yeah, medium coffee. I know it all too well. Thank you very much for your help. I have yeah. drip, I have powder, and I have bean. Brilliant. What's bean? A bean. Oh, oh bean, yes. yes. Yeah, very good. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, yes, I like you said, this is a premium coffee. We spoke about this before, the Luwak or the Weasel coffee, um, where basically weasels eat it. Their digestive system takes them 45 minutes to crap it out. 
and then they triple roast the uh, the weasel poo, <clears throat> and thereby taking away the acidity of the coffee bean, leaving a smoother coffee. Have I sold that to you? <laughs> I hope so. Oh yeah, there's coffee, and let's see what we got up here. There's also an upstairs in here. Uh, baby stuff to the left and nappies to the right. Um, <coughs> if you're unfortunate enough to have got a villa with cockroaches, which I must admit, I think I've seen two cockroaches in the last year, but I think I might have just been fortunate. Um, tissues and water. I mean, this is amazing. 19 litres of water for one pound. Just over two Australian dollars. Well worth getting. But when you get it, make sure that you and you get an antiseptic wipe and you wipe this whole area down. <coughs> they get very dirty and uh, you might end up drinking that at one point. So, uh, shampoos. Ah, here we go. About, <laughs> yeah. about the uh, good milk, good long life milk. Great. And soft drinks. And this is a great if you're dehydrated, very good. It's like 90%, 95% um, pure coconut juice. So that's a very good, uh, very good drink to keep yourself hydrated. And another select, more selection of beers. Um, literally, you can get six packs of uh, Bintang, but uh, yeah, why bother when you get the cold bottles? Drinking from a bottle is so much nicer than drinking from a can. It really is. Yeah, new batteries. And sweeties. And deodorant. Um, you get the idea, I think, guys. Now let's take a quick look upstairs.
You never know how much these other ones, how many times these other ones have been dropped. And the thing with them is the outer plastic may dent in and then dent back out again, but the inside, the foam that actually protects your nugget, um, may be dented, you know, dented to bits and so not have any protection. But of course you don't know that from looking at the helmet. Okay. Wow, that is so heavy because that is all pure glass at the bottom. So yeah, you're getting drunk and you have to find this coaster to stand it right. Otherwise, how's that gonna stand? Yeah, so unless you have your specific coaster, <laughs> that is utterly stupid. <laughs> oh dear. Why do they do it? Because clearly they can. And your pride umbrellas. Four quid, like seven, about, yeah, about seven Aussie dollars. You do a YouTube? How you doing, mate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you doing YouTube? That's right, yeah. My, my son does the same as you. Um, all right, so I got uh, stopped by a guy who just had to tell me how proud he is of his dad, or of his son. Um, of whom is a YouTuber, got over a hundred thousand followers and his channel is uh, Travelling with Russell and he's in Moscow at the moment and he goes, he's already done this supermarket. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> uh, but did he point out where you get bog brushes? There you go, 50p, one Aussie dollar. Oh, what a lovely man, he was so proud, so proud of him. That's wicked. Yeah, so I've subscribed to uh, Travelling with Russell. And I'll send him a message later saying, I saw your dad, Tony, in the supermarket earlier. Uh, you get the idea of up here, guys. Let's see what this happens. Thank you. See ya. That's Bintang for you guys in Semenyak. So if, basically, if you're in Semenyak, Kuta, or even Changu actually, and you want to get some bulk shopping done, I highly recommend coming to Bintang in uh, Semenyak. And here's our trusty friend. Let's have a quick look at the uh, tobacco notes. Oh, I'm so proud of myself for having avoided the uh, almond croissants. Look at these delicious pasta de nachos. Oh. oh no, I better not. Oh, that looks so good. No. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Okay, guys, so I hope that helps. So, if you're planning a big party or need to stock up the fridge or the freezer, with some uh, groceries and all that jet. If you're gonna get your day-to-day -day groceries, I'd highly recommend going somewhere else. Probably a lot closer and uh, a lot cheaper. So if you've got a fridge, nothing better than um, chilled chilled uh, fruit. Um, actually, I'll stay here until we go out. Take care, guys, and uh, until the next video, be safe.